let's just dive right in here. Okay. We had the devil as the first card. So immediately could be dealing with a Capricorn. Not necessary though. Okay. The devil to me could mean maybe an addiction that you had. Um, it can mean some kind of like pull, uh, towards something that is not good for you. So maybe someone that's not good for you, something that's not good for you. Um, like temptation, people tempting you, things like that. Okay. So take what resonates. All right. Because this card means a lot of things, but I feel like there could be a part of you that also likes to play mind games with you. Okay. Because this to me can also symbolize like, you know, that, that like playing with the person here and this could just be your mind playing tricking you okay so take that as it resonates i feel like <clears throat> excuse me you're definitely taking a time out from whatever this is whether this is something you struggled with or something from the outside world that is bothering you or that has been bothering you because i feel like for some of you you could but definitely be dealing with someone that may seem all cool and stuff and 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 sexy and beautiful whoever this is right but then they could not have the right intentions so gemini in the end whatever the case may be here okay so it doesn't have to be a person but whatever the case may be i feel like you're definitely taking the time it's, it's almost like you're reeling it back you're taking the time for yourself you are going into like some sort of hiatus okay maybe into hermit mode you're gonna rest you're gonna restore yourself because you've been through you've been through the ringer you've been through a lot and i feel like because of that you've been through just so much bullshit you're just done right so <clears throat> i feel like anything that comes to you is with like with this four of cups is like no i don't have time for this you know it's like you're not taking any mediocre offers anymore <clears throat> excuse me you're not doing things that don't serve your highest good anymore you're just not you're so you're just sitting there contemplating so we have a four and a four here so you're definitely contemplating on what does make you happy what you can do to move in a new direction okay and i feel like you're definitely focusing on friends here with the three of chalices you're focusing on your happiness very beautiful i like that because um <clears throat> Gemini is an air sign, so you tend to be in your thoughts a lot. So I feel like right now you're being in your thoughts, but in a good way, because you're putting everything into perspective in your life. So that's very nice to see. Um, we have the eight of wands, so there could be some communication coming in for you. Um, could be pertaining a, a new opportunity for you here. Okay. I feel like things are just moving forward. They're moving quickly. Um, for some of you, a little too quick but it's all gaining momentum like this energy is gaining momentum in your life i feel like things are moving in a different direction for you maybe you yourself are moving in a different direction because again you're taking the time for yourself you're not allowing mediocre shit in your life so you're just you're going for your highest good you're going for what really is going to create that beautiful uh new beginning for you a new opportunity for you abundance okay I feel like there's money coming your way because you're creating it. It's like you're taking the you're taking charge here, but it is creating a little bit of anxiety here um, with the nine of swords. So maybe you stay up a little longer at night. Um, you tend to worry a little bit more than than the average right now because you you know there's a lot of things happening in your life, a lot of changes, and you're just like, whoa, okay, let me take a step back. It's creating a little bit of anxiety, but. You got this, okay? We have the Elemental of Wands here to really tell you, look, you got this, okay? The Elemental of Wands is the Page of Wands. You know, he talks about, or he he brings in that exploration, that excitement, that freedom, and that new direction, okay? So you're taking a new direction. And even though it creates a little bit of anxiety, it creates a little bit of uh, scary thoughts and things like that, I feel like you're still going to be fearless and you're still going to charge ahead, Okay? Now, I do see here, though, Gemini, that you have probably blocked someone from messaging you uh, or someone will message you and you're going to block it out because you don't have time for that shit. OK, for some of you, for others of you, it could mean that you're unblocking someone from messaging you or I don't know why I'm, I'm getting blocking. OK, so take that as it resonates. Um, 
But with the page of cups here is definitely someone who probably wants to reach out, maybe apologize or something like that. You're just not having it. You're like, you know what? I don't give a shit right now. Right now, I'm just focused on my mind, on my well-being. Okay. Um, because you feel like this person's going to come and just going to put like a blind over your eyes. And it's like, we're back to square one again. And it's like, no, you don't want to be there anymore. You want to be somewhere where you see, where you hear, where you think, you know, and you, you just, you're just not going to take anything less than what you deserve is what I'm basically seeing here. It's like, you're not going to take immature, uh, immature offers here you're not going to take anything less than what you deserve that is exactly what i'm seeing with this card here so no matter what it is here that's coming your way if it's not aligned with where you're at right now in life you're not going to take it okay so we have the moon here. So things that you haven't seen yet. All right. It's also the feminine. I feel like for a lot of you, maybe you're tapping into that feminine energy within yourself. Um, but in the end, I feel like Gemini, you were at a point where you, again, with this anxiety, you're at a point where you feel like you're drowning. You feel like you're overwhelmed. Too much is going on. And you're like, you're, you're now seeing the light and you're coming out of that. You know, you're coming out of that water. You're, you're, seeing things things are are being shown to you and it's like you're, you're finally uh balancing out that yin and that yang and that's so beautiful to see um with the world here it creates that harmony in your life you know you're leaving that chaotic space within your mind which is that fire here and you're floating away towards something better okay toward new opportunities very nice okay so we have here the ace of cups so the Ace of Cups tells me, Gemini, you could have a love offer coming to you soon, okay? But that's not necessary, okay? It could be a new beginning or something that sparks again in your relationship if you are in a relationship, okay? So take this as it resonates. But to me, this card more than anything is just symbolizing the love that you're giving yourself, Gemini, because we've, I feel like for so long, you've probably been taking care of others or just worrying about others more than yourself. And I feel like now you're just taking the time for yourself. Month of February is all about you and your self-love and overflowing for yourself, okay? And, and tapping into your emotions. So you're definitely working on yourself with this seven of pentacles here. You're planting the seeds and you're gonna see them grow, okay? Because, you know, you're at a point in your life where you really want um, things to move forward for things to happen. So your hard work and your perseverance is really gonna pay off here, okay? So keep working hard. For yourself all right what i see here you planted a seed okay and it's gonna grow you see these roses back here it's all gonna happen it's all gonna come to light all right very beautiful i feel like you're manifesting as well so we have the empress here and that's beautiful to end the reading with because this is someone that is all about abundance you know the nurture and i feel like gemini you are nurturing yourself here you are taking the time to be the abundant being that you so deserve to be whether someone comes in along you, they're just adding to your story you know they're not making it they're adding to it and that's what i like to see here gemini it's like that equal give and take so i feel like for some of you yeah this could mean a person it could mean someone that's already in your life however this resonates but gemini you are seeing things from a different perspective i feel you're really looking at the world differently now um I don't know, Gemini, it's like you're growing wings and you're flying. It's like you're just, and I know this isn't wings, but to me, it looks like wings. It's almost like wings that are growing out of your back because you're finally taking off. You're finally doing the things that you've always wanted to do. Um, you're really stepping out of your comfort zone here, I feel. And just like with that moon here, you're coming back down. You know, you're seeing things differently. Um, the moon is here too. So it's like, everything has been illuminated for you and things have come out to the light for you to help you move forward in your life. So that's nice. And then we have the elemental of chalices to, uh, to be here with you because it's like, um, the elemental of, chal of chalices is like the page of cups here. So same thing could be someone trying to reach out to you and maybe it could be someone new, somebody different from this person. Okay. Someone who in turn brings something else to the table, brings you a new offer. Okay, this could also mean that there's a surprise heading your way. It could also mean your intuition. Okay, so maybe for some of you, you're definitely tapping into your intuition, using your psychic abilities more. Um, you know, just just being being there for yourself is what I see here. And and that's creating so much movement in your life and, and so many things are shifting and happening. So that's awesome to see. So month of February, really focusing on yourself, all right? Um 
I feel like I need to start in the middle. Spirit is saying to pick the middle card first. So we have learned from your mistakes. With such, it's, it's such a beautiful card because this is it's going in, in alignment with the reading and what I've been saying this whole time. So this says, Earth is a schoolroom. Your higher self has chosen to enroll in this dimension to learn lessons that the spirit world does not teach quickly. Congratulate yourself for the bravery that it takes to leave the comfort of feeling at one with everything and choosing to experience the sensation of separateness while you go about your tasks. You are expected to make mistakes. Having said that, it is the wise soul who always learns from them. Life on earth continually presents you with challenges and the quick learners find that they are presented with fewer struggles. If this card appears in your spread, your guides are reminding you that the more you use the knowledge of past experiences when confronted with a life lesson, the less often these lessons will be presented to you. Take responsibility for the mistake and do not look to blame another for the consequences. Instead of blame, move into a state of understanding and acceptance of the lesson. In doing so, you will not need to repeat this behavior in future interactions. In life, there are no failures, just possibilities of doing something differently than you are used to by using the knowledge of past experience. Very beautiful. And now I feel like spirit is telling me to choose journey within. Okay, so journey within. Let's see what this one says for you. If I can find it. Okay. The physical body is a product of this material dimension. It is created on earth using elements like carbon, hydrogen, and calcium. It is vulnerable. It has limitations and a finite lifespan. Your higher self has chosen to inhabit it to ex have experiences that the spirit world does not offer. It is not the real you. What you see in the mirror is only a vehicle. The real you is perfect, limitless, and eternal. It is connected to everyone and everything you see. The ability to contact your guides and their knowledge is omnipresent, but you must do your part to access their wisdom. This card's appearance in your spread is a message encouraging you to be receptive to the guidance that is your birthright. Meditation, sitting in silence, and asking to receive advice during the dream state are all ways to establish contact with your higher self and guides, which I did say that you're definitely using your intuition more, maybe tapping into your psychic abilities more. Okay, use these tools that have been granted to you. Don't be discouraged by the earthly distractions placed between you and your guides. Practice developing this sacred relationship. You'll find that life becomes much easier when you have daily communication with your guides. Very, very beautiful. And we have Kindness Counts, which is your last card here, um, which I feel like has a beautiful message for you. So let's dive right in. It says, experiencing life on earth can become overwhelming. Often there are not enough hours in the day to accomplish everything you'd like. The one thing that doesn't take up any extra time and that you can do every moment of every day is to be kind. The manifestation of loving light given from one soul to another is the, in this physical dimension is known as kindness. It is an acknowledgement and recognition of another person who deserves the same love you have given yourself. When you share this energy with another, it may be the most important element that their soul needs at that particular time in their journey. They may be in a place of insecurity, and this gift that you bestow may center them enough to make the correct choice for themselves. When you are kind to someone or someone is kind to you, it is felt in the heart chakra as a physical manifestation. It warms my heart, is often said, when an act or even a story of kindness resonates within you. That is the energy of your soul, and anything that brings forth that energy should be nourished. Make a concerted uh, daily effort to be aware of the energy that you are sending out. Kindness is contagious. And also, I feel like there's a message here for yourself, okay? There may be in a place that... They may be in a place of insecurity and this gift you bestow may center them enough to make the correct choice for themselves. And I feel like that is for you, for you to be kind to yourself and use your own gift to guide yourself to the correct choice. All right, Gemini. So with that being said, 